Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, there is life and death in the tongue. Therefore, be careful of the words that you utter when frustrated and angry. Be careful of the words that you mumble and say under your breath. Be careful of the fantasy imagination and think that no one is reading your thoughts or your heart's intentions or those meditations because I see all things my child I hear all things and I am a discerner of hearts therefore allow me to cleanse you of your iniquities today allow me to purify your tongues and allow me to renew your mind and also circumcise your heart today for I desire for your light to shine to speak forth words of life and to reflect my glory and to release my fragrance to a lost and dying world just surrender your heart today surrender your hurt today surrender your frustration today my child and surrender that offense that may also be affecting you that i may wash you in my river of life therefore surrender the burdens today and watch me take that yoke from your shoulders yes draw closer to me to that secret place today and i will be with you be at peace this day my child shalom praise the lord precious saints the bible says according to proverbs 18 verse 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit and another translation said and those who love it and indulge in it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words Precious saints, we are living in a time where there are many things to frustrate us. There are many things to cause us to say things that maybe we don't intentionally mean, but they come across being harsh and they have an effect. Our words have power, precious saints. Never underestimate that. And there can be consequences from our actions and also through our words, not just our words, but our mumbling and also our meditations and our imaginations. Now, Galatians 6 verse 7 to 9 says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Precious saints, I want to encourage you today that no matter what you are going through, God is saying, learn to sow words of life. Learn to sow words because as we sow those things in the spirit, we will surely reap that everlasting life, that harvest and do not grow weary in doing good. So Heavenly Father, I pray for each person that may be feeling weary today, that may be feeling frustrated today, and burdened and angered, whatever is going on in their life, whatever offense is there, Lord, come and visit them today and touch them and release them. And just as you've said in your word, I saw the Lord actually removing the burden from somebody's shoulders. Like, so I want you to see the Lord is actually going to lift it off you right now. So Heavenly Father, remove that burden for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Come and remove that burden from that person today in jesus mighty name and i also have some words of knowledge and also a prophetic warning now some weeks ago i had a dream a very specific dream and the lord told me to pray between march and may and there was a global event that was going to affect all nations and i've been praying ever since about this situation but then again today i had a word that says get ready for a new season there's a new season about to change it's coming and will not only affect just one place but it will affect 
all places. So get ready for that. So Lord, I pray whatever that is, whatever that situation between March and May that's going to affect global, Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you would just protect your people cover your people. Whatever that situation is, Lord, let your gospel not be affected, that we can continue to preach the gospel and do what we need to do in this hour. And I also saw these words, new re- uh, new space research program is about to be released. So you'll probably see that on the news, a new space research program to be released. So you'll see it come on the news in the days to come. Um, Someone has recently been diagnosed with a medical condition because I saw the words medical condition. So let's pray for that person that that condition will be overturned. Whatever the diagnosis is, shall be overturned because of the healing report that comes from that recent diagnosis. So Heavenly Father, whoever that person is that has been diagnosed with something of a medical condition, I pray, Lord, that you'll bring healing and that those reports, those medical reports will be overturned because they will see the miracle coming in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody that said with their own mouths to God, show me the money. Now, that's pretty much the phrase that you spoke and said to God. So Lord, I pray for that person that has spoken those words, that person knows who they are. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord sees all things. He sees in that secret place. He knows the words that you've uttered, you've spoken. Lord, I pray that you will come and do exactly that. You will come and provide for them. You will show them that of your faithfulness because Lord, we know that our provisions come from you from your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And I pray today that you would show up and show off for that person today in the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody also in some sort of trouble and the Lord is reminding me to tell you to that person to call upon him in your distress and he has promised to deliver you. So no matter what that situation is, it's a reminder call upon him that he may deliver you. So Lord, I pray that you'll come and visit that person that is going through that time of distress right now, whatever that situation is, you will come and provide for them or help them or whatever it is that they need right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody, I saw the words colon and then obviously the colon is connected to your digestive system and also your intestines and also the bowel. And because it's uh, the larger intestine. So Lord, I pray whoever that person is that has an issue in any of those areas, Lord, I pray that you would come and bring healing to that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring healing to that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring healing to that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody that either has an open book test or a textbook test and we're going to pray for you so that's someone specific that has an open book test or a textbook test and we're going to pray for you that God will give you the grace for that situation exam or test or whatever you're going through so Heavenly Father I pray that you'll give them the wisdom you'll give them the knowledge whatever they need to do Lord you will just come and visit them today in the name of Jesus Christ give them that understanding bless them today in Jesus name there's also somebody that has one limb that is shorter than the other so if you were to line both your limbs up together it would seem that one is longer than the other. One is shorter than the other. So I want you to do me a favor. I want you just to believe by faith that God will bring his liquid glory mixed with the atmosphere of heaven. And God is going to bring a creative miracle that that limb would grow back in the name of Jesus Christ. So if it's your arms or if it's your legs, I want you to place your hand. You can even take a seat if you like. And as you take a seat, I believe that God is going to show you as you stretch out your legs or you stretch out your arms, that as we start to pray, something is about to happen right now. So Heavenly Father, whoever that person is, I pray and declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ, as this is a specific word. And as your word is spoken, it shall now bring the creative 
blessed miracle, it shall now bring and manifest itself. Holy Spirit, you will manifest this miracle for this person right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Come and touch them. Come and fill them today. Come and touch that person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Come and touch them. Come and fill them today. Come and fill them and touch them and bring that creative miracle. We speak to that limb right now that you would grow and come back into the perfect design of God as to the other limb right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to those limbs. They must also uh, take heed to the word of God spoken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring that creative miracle to that person. Pour out your anointing and your glory right now upon that person today in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch them. Come and fill them today. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance, we encourage you, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, or any of those things. Uh, go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, it is time to press in to seek the Lord today. From my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.